Echo, echo, set a timer for 10 minutes. Echo, echo. Does that frustrate you as much as it frustrates me? Hey, I'm Zach from Smart Geek Home, and I'm here today to tell you what to do when your Echo Show is not responding to voice commands. The first thing you're going to want to do is take a look at the bottom of your Echo Show. If you see a red bar there, that means that your microphone is off, which would explain why it can't hear you. To fix that, look at the top of your Echo. You should see the button right there. That is the microphone on off, sometimes called the mute button. Press that, it will stop glowing. And now no red bar, your microphone is on, which means if we try this, echo, cancel, it hears us. Next to try is power cycling your echo. To do that, take the cord at the back here, unplug it, wait 10 seconds and plug it back in. It will take a moment for your echo to power back up. Once it does, try the voice commands again. Echo. Cancel. There we go. Until recently, every Alexa device required an active internet connection in order to process voice commands. This changed recently with the Echo Show 15 featuring local voice processing. Some of the other Echo devices are also starting to get this enhancement, but it hasn't been rolled out to most of them yet and won't be rolled out to older models. In most cases, that means that problems with your internet connection will cause your voice commands to not work on your Echo Show. Go to your computer or a mobile phone that's on the same Wi-Fi network as your Echo Show. Try to open a browser window, make sure it fully loads. If it does, that means that your internet's probably working fine. It doesn't need to be that fast for the Echo to process voice commands. If your internet is slow or not working at all, go ahead and restart your router. That's the easiest way to fix most local network issues. To restart your router, Look for the power cord at the back of the router, pull that out, wait 30 seconds, plug it back in, and then wait for the router to boot up. This could take a few minutes. Once your router is booted up, go ahead and try the Alexa voice command again. Echo. Cancel. Echo is fairly good at recognizing most voices in most situations, but sometimes it has a hard time understanding the way you say its wake word. Additionally, if you have multiple echoes and they're all using the same wake word, it may get confused about which one you're talking to. I have another echo on the other side of that wall. Sometimes, and I cannot explain this, but sometimes when I am standing right over this one, talking directly to it, that one will be the one that hears the wake word, which means that I cannot use the same wake word for both of them. That one responds to Alexa, this one responds to Echo. To change the wake word on your Echo device, just ask it. Echo, change your wake word to Ziggy. Okay, you can call me Ziggy on this device in a few seconds. Ziggy, what time is it? It's 11.17 a.m. Currently, there are five wake words you can use for your Amazon devices. Alexa, Echo, Ziggy, Computer, and Amazon. Amazon adds new wake words to that list every year or two, but if you're waiting for a specific one, it's probably not gonna happen. Just pick one of the five wake words that exist, be happy with it. If you're having trouble with the wake word on your device, I suggest sticking to Alexa, Echo, and Ziggy. Those seem to be the easiest ones for it to hear. I don't fully know why. Amazon and computer seem to be slightly more difficult. That's in my experience. Maybe it's different for you. If nothing else has worked, what we're gonna do is factory reset your Echo Show. When you do a factory reset, you're gonna lose all of your device specific settings, but you're not gonna lose anything that's stored in the app. To factory reset your Echo Show, Pull down on the screen from the top, go to settings, look for device options, click that, scroll down until you see reset to factory defaults, click that, and then you're gonna click reset. After you factory reset your Echo Show, you're going to need to go through the setup process again. That includes pairing it with the app and connecting it to your wireless network. Most everything else should be fairly smooth since you've already done this in the past, so the app itself is set up. There you have it. Hopefully your Echo Show is responding to voice commands again. If it's not, I suggest contacting Amazon support as there may be an issue with the device itself. And if it's still under warranty, you're gonna to want to get that addressed ASAP. Please drop a comment below telling me what problem was causing your Echo Show not to respond. If this video was helpful, please do like it and subscribe to the channel as we're going to have a lot more content coming out about the Echo Show, other Alexa devices, and everything smart home. If there's anything special you're looking for, please do leave a comment letting me know. I'm planning out new content and I would love to make sure that it is exactly what you are looking for.